you don't think about it, it won't happen. Thanks a lot. Now you've made me think about it. God, it is like the Spanish Inquisition. Everyone keeps asking me if I've added anything to this. I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't. What? But you said I'd... Where we all may settle down in the care of our Lord. And now Peter is going to continue our celebration by sharing some memories of Bob with us. So, what can you say about Bob? And he always stayed close to his brothers, Tom and Victor, and of course his sister, Sandra. They were close, uh, not only in the friendship they enjoyed, but also geographically. In fact, Bob joked that he could never get away from them because wherever he moved, they followed. Of course, what brought him to Woking was meeting Dorothy. Who was not only a wife, but a friend for the dozen successful years they lived there. They say all good things have to come to an end, but, but that time was an incredibly important part of Bob's life. Not forgetting the 14 happy years Bob spent with his... with his... with his memories after his amicable separation from Dorothy. <laughs> Anyhow, this isn't a mournful gay day. <laughs> Uh, it's a day to celebrate and to... It's, it's, a, it's a form of grief. It's, um, she isn't actually finding it funny. It's a nervous thing. It happened at her mother's funeral. Anyhow, that's, um, that's about it. Um, I'd just like to mention some of the other people who were important to Bob. Um, Hetty, James, Justin and uh, Vera and Bob's loving partner Bernard. Thank you, Peter. <coughs> Lovely tribute. And next we're going to the song today. A song that Bob chose himself. A song made famous by Judy Garland. Somewhere over the rainbow. See. He is definitely dead in there. 